Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the new iPhone SE second generation. This is the budget friendly Apple phone. And in this video, we're gonna unbox it. We're gonna take a look at all the parts and pieces that come with it. And then at the end, we're gonna do our pros and cons. Coming up next, we're gonna see what's going on inside the box. All right, guys, we are gonna do our unboxing right now. I took off the cellophane wrapping to make this process a little bit smoother and easier. And we're gonna take this off right here. Right there, we've got some paperwork. Designed by Apple in California, yes. Not manufactured there, but definitely designed there, which is cool. Support America is what I try and do. And this is what the phone looks like. We're gonna circle back to that. We're gonna look inside the box. We have some of the standard issue headphones. Cool. And then we've got the lightning cable and then we've got our basic USB adapter. That's not the quick charger guys. So I'll, of course at, at the price point that this thing is being offered, that probably doesn't make sense for them to throw any extras and you wouldn't expect them to throw in the AirPods either. So I guess that makes sense overall in the grand scheme of things. So back to the phone, got this right here. I got the red one. Sorry for those fingerprints guys. That just happens. And, and you'll notice there's only one lens for the camera, but it's supposed to be a good one. And this one also has the same microprocessor as the flagship, the most deluxe advanced one. I think it's like 1100 or $1,200, which is just crazy. Of course, part of that price point depends on how many gigabytes of memory you got. And, uh, and this one, I got 128 gigabytes of RAM and the screen, the display, there's no notch, which is fantastic. And this, it doesn't have a clicking button, but it does have a fingerprint reader. So it's at least halfway there. And I absolutely despise the notch. Otherwise I would have bought probably the, the 10 or the one of the 11s, but the notch is just a, a deal breaker for me. So, and this is also it's waterproof. I'll peel the, the labels off here in a bit, guys, once I get my, once I get this secured within my otter box. And it looks like it may even have stereo sound, which is cool. Of course, I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna do some other videos, at least at the recording of this video. I'm planning on doing additional videos with this iPhone, just cause it's new. And I'm trying to get this channel to advance a bit, like I have my other channel. So there you go. And coming up next, I'm gonna power this thing on and see if there's anything else that stands out to me. All right, guys, here's a look at my iPhone 6S Plus and my iPhone, my brand new one here, the iPhone SE. And that one is, this one you can click the button down and it can do stuff, which is cool. This one, I only set it up, it only asked me to set up one finger, which is kind of weird. Um, one cool thing before I forget it on the setup is you can set the amount of pressure that it takes to to kind of replicate the actual button button, which is good overall. Uh, but yeah, the thing that I noticed the most is the size. <laughs> I didn't think this one was going to be that much smaller, which is crazy, but it is. So, uh, yeah, but overall, everything seems good. This definitely seems fast. I don't know what it was doing there. Yeah, took a second for the pages. But I haven't clicked on any of the apps overall, so, and I haven't set that much up. But I'm expecting things to be great. And again, this is just the unboxing. So I, I, well, I plan to actually do a thorough review here at some point fairly soon. And I'm gonna do a quick little pros and cons which is basically what I did. So I'll pull this away so we can focus on just this. As far as the pros go, it has no notch, which is very good. It has a button that replicates the, the button. It's not a face ID, in other words. Um, it's nice and clean. 
the price is insane. As of right now, it is $399 for the base model. Mine, I believe, was an extra $50. And then Apple Care on top of that for two years, I think it was like $500 and something, like $550, $560. Ridiculously cheap. And the best part, one of the other selling features for me is that the OtterBox uh, that has the film, the Defender, um, that I had on this one, but I took off. That way we could do an actual comparison because I do not have my OtterBox set up yet. I will be doing a review with this in the OtterBox at some point soon. At least that's my plans as of the recording of this video. So that's pretty much it, guys. I respond to comments pretty quickly on all my channels. So definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And GB Linden, out.